Welcome to the gap. This is the gap. Yeah. They should have never gave you platform. Oh, man, these topics, bro. I'm already about to. Already giving it the poo. Damn. <sighs> Bruh. I know most of y'all ain't even gonna know what the fuck I'm talking about or even know what the fuck happened and shit like that. But gotta get into it. Property taxes and how they unfair to the black community, goddammit. Man, one story caught my attention. Her name was D. Lessie Lessia Scott. Hope I'm saying that right. But basically, uh read up on the story. She's now renting a home that she used to own. So she used to own the home in 05. Bought it. Bought it for uh like 63k. This is outside uh Detroit city limits in Wayne County, some shit like that. If you in Detroit watching this, I, I, I comment down below. You know what's up. Uh yeah, they took her shit away in uh, uh 2013. For five racks, my nigga. Shit crazy, bruh. This little investment group. That's what they be doing too. They be it be these investment groups and stuff. And they go like to different poor areas and stuff, foreclosure houses and stuff, buy the shit dirt cheap, build it up, sell that shit for hella much. They say that's what happened. Boom. Bought it. But with this, they didn't, they probably did some renovation or whatever, but they bought her shit for five racks and then start charging her just fucking rent. It probably was a ridiculous amount of rent, but she stuck. She ain't got no choice. And the reason why this happened is because of fucking property taxes and wrong evaluations from the motherfucking banks. They be fucking, what they be doing, they be fucking sending black families and shit to lower real estate value. So, basically, what that means is, she bought her house in 05. It was 63K. She thinking the value of her property gonna go up tremendously because, you know, surrounding areas. Nope. That shit don't fucking happen. You know what happens? The shit get a little bit of increase. Bruh, her shit went from 63K to like 78K from 05 to 2013. That's a fucking terrible investment. Then she probably got an older bank hella money. And then like the pandemic and all that shit happened. Nah, I'm tripping. I'm saying the pandemic. This shit before that. <laughs> but this shit can happen. Like she, what happened was she lost her job. She lost her job. So she didn't have no money. She didn't have no salary. She can't pay for the fucking mortgage. Boom. And that's how it all crumbles. Can't fucking refinance the house. None of that shit. Shit's all bullshit, yo. That's, and see, that shit leads in institutional racism. Boom. That's the definition of institutional racism. For you niggas that don't get it, that be asking, like, what the fuck is that? That, that doesn't exist. Da -da. Bam. I gave you a clear cut example. Institutional racism. Through property taxes. They fucking lower the value. They're giving us lower value real estate. And they fucking overvaluing the fucking houses. So it just height is getting higher property taxes. <sighs> shit is bullshit, yo. Shit is fucked up. And like shit like this is going around in the world. And people don't even know the shit going on, man. But yeah, that was just a story I wanted. That was a topic I wanted to touch on. Shit was pissing me off. It's one topic that's making me hella mad. It's just like, damn, we can't win for nothing out here, bro. It's just like, these motherfuckers be setting up all types of traps for us. But that just goes to show, now we got information. We got to go research this shit, bro. Before we go buying up property and stuff like that, we got to research this shit. We got to research what's the value going to be. And like, now we know that like, nah, we can't really truly trust the banks when it comes to their evaluations and shit like that because they fuck us over and then the white people benefit they put them in fucking better areas and shit get better loans less interest rates feel me our tax like the tax rate on this shit two to four times more they jack that shit up shit crazy man we about to get I go on this shit for days and come on this topic, though, but, you know, we're going to have to get on to the next topic. Woo! Papa John's. Fuck that nigga. Go eat a dick, son. <laughs> Fuck you, bruh. Fuck out of here, B. Y'all hear this nigga? Yes. This motherfucker, bruh, had the nerve to say, it took me, it took me two years to get the N-word out of my vocabulary. 
What the f*** are you talking about, Whitey? What? I cannot believe this trash making ass motherfucker with the boot cut jeans had the nerve to say this fucking bull malarkey. What the fuck, bro? Two years? Why is this shit in your vocabulary in the first place? Like, come on, bro. Why is this in your vocabulary? Didn't it take you two years? Damn, it took me two years to get this out of my vocab, man. I was just saying, nigger all goddamn day. This nigger here, nigger there. It's like, damn, motherfucker. And then, man, I ain't even gonna get onto the pieces. All I'm gonna say is this, as I get onto the pieces. <laughs> Bro, them <laughs> pieces is cardboard motherfucking boxes. They so fucking terrible. Weak ass pizzas, man. I don't even know how this nigga's still in business. I know why, because fucking white people love that shit. They love some, they love them some Papa John's. Oh my God, I need some Papa John's. Uh, weak ass pieces, bruh. Fuck that nigga. Talking that bullshit. Two years. Get the nigga. Papa Poo, nigga. That's your nickname, nigga. Papa, Papa Boot Jeans. Nigga, y'all see the jeans he wearing? That bullshit art in his fucking house. Shit ugly as uh. Nigga had, I think he had a painted two hawks fucking or fighting. They, I, I don't know. That shit just looked the ugliest fuck. It's like, and I like hawks. This nigga made hawks look mad weak though. <sighs> Can't believe it, man. These motherfuckers, man. Do not support Papa John's. Fuck that shit. Fuck that nigga. Yeah, but I said it. Don't support that. Motherfucking weak ass pizza. It ain't gonna be hard shit nasty anyway. <laughs> and like, man, I love Shaq, man. Shaq, you that nigga. But stop being in them weak ass Papa John commercials. God damn, bruh. I know you're trying to get your dough, but at some point you gotta take a stand, bruh. This nigga's a fucking racist. Like, we need to stop working with racists. I'm sorry. Like, the fuck, man? Fuck! <laughs> Man, ooh, I told you, bro, I'm hot today, man, with these topics, bro. I know y'all probably done heard in the news, but I'm about to reiterate this shit for the motherfuckers that haven't. Carla Lassiter. Yep, I said a clip about her a couple, a while ago. You know what? TikTok took down my clip, said, Oh, you're bullying. Oh, God. Da, 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 da. <laughs> F you, TikTok. Trying to do some censorship of culture. I see what the fuck you trying to do. Fuck out of here. I'm gonna still post on TikTok too until I until get to that plateau. I'm like, man, bow, suck a dick, motherfuckers. <laughs> but anyway, man, Carla Laster, man, fuck that pale face, blue eyed devil. Yep, I said the shit, blue eyed devil, because that's what the fuck she was acting like. This this chick, man, is an elementary Arkansas teacher, right, Bruh. She teaching elementary school kids, right? She made this five-year-old black king <laughs> unclog a toilet with his bare fucking hands. Man, fuck that shit. Bow. Fuck her. Fuck out of here. How you gonna do that shit, yo? He's five. Just treating us like motherfucking animals. Just like bullshit. Like, man, this, more people need to know who the fuck she is so we Get her out of there. Get her the fuck out of there. Which leads to my fucking point, though. When it comes to public schools, yo, 79% of white people are teaching public fucking schools, my nigga. That shit is fucking bullshit. You know what else is bullshit? Only 7% of black people teach in public schools, my nigga. With 13% of the population, we can't even get... The percentage of the fucking population in America to match up with how many black teachers are in fucking America. It's 7%. That's fucking bullshit. What kind of shit is that, bruh? 79% of white motherfuckers is teaching our fucking minority kids fucking English, history, all this other shit? Fuck that. That shit is fucking whack. Man, we gotta change that. And nah, man, it ain't that bullshit where it's like, oh, more black people need to apply to be teachers. They are applying. They just not getting the job. Let's stop with the bullshit. Y'all be trying to bullshit all that. Oh, more black people need to apply. They need to apply. Apply. No, motherfuckers apply. 
They just don't get the job. White people are in fucking principals and all that shit. In HR. And they're hiring their counterparts. Shit is motherfucking whack, bruh. That shit weak, man. Fuck that broad. In the comments down below, say that shit. Say F that broad, Carla Laster. Don't say fuck, cause like YouTube gonna fucking take down the comment. Oh god, oh, censorship. Oh, you can't say fuck. <laughs> like, come on, man. Say that shit. That I looky. You know what I mean? You do her the fuck you want, but you fuck with me. Down in the comments, you're going to say F Papa John's and F Carla Laster. Fuck her. Go eat a dick. Biatch. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, I know them topics, man, had me hot, bro. It had me hot. Usually, I'm all like, hee hee ha ha, ha 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 ha, kee kee kee. Nope. Not today, nigga. I'm out here. Pissed. Fuck this shit. And niggas don't be knowing about this shit. Fuck. Info we need to be knowing. Y'all niggas gonna be talking about the STEMI bullshit, the Grammys, that fuck shit, man. Fuck all that, nigga. We got other issues. We got real issues out here in these streets, my nigga. Y'all could talk about that shit, but put this shit in there too. And I'm gonna say it. Comes to your STEMI, look it. Like I said in my other clip, man. Three things though, man. One. Invest in yourself, nigga. Invest in yourself. Two, pay your debt off. Pay the debt off with the STEMI. Three, don't trick it off on no fucking bullshit. That's all I gotta say about the STEMI. We gonna move the f on. <laughs>